What's going on guys, hope you're all having a great day today and today we have a brand new unboxing video and this is for the brand new 4K Steelbook edition of Ghost in the Shell, the original 1995 film which I actually watched in IMAX um, just this past week. Really great on the big screen, it's a film that I don't quite love but it's definitely one that you know is, will grow on me because my first watch, didn't really like it. When I watched it in IMAX and uh, watched it with the subtitled version, enjoyed it quite a bit more but... Yeah, this is a pretty expensive edition, if you like Ghost in the Shell, probably worth picking up, but uh, I think just generally it's a, a nice edition to own. It is £40, which is quite a lot of money, um, and I know there is like a, for a standard 4K edition uh, in this country as well, which is you know kind of similar to this, that's about £20, uh, but there's also in America last year, uh, they brought out 4K and 4K Steelbook, very different looking to this, uh, they are more like pink, blue kind of colour, I'll throw up an image on screen here, we have the front of the 4K, uh, limited. It's a it is a Steelbook as you can see inside, you know, you've got a Steelbook right there, but it's also, you know, got a lot of other stuff packed into it as well, and it is a nice hard case, which is, uh, you know, always good to have, uh, so there we have like the front, we've got like, you know, the iconic triangle look with a major in the middle, like a Bit of a silhouette of her, bit of like a background city and all that kind of stuff. Then Ghost in the Shell logo there. Then we've got like this J card thing, which I'll, uh, if I can get off. There we go. And I'll, sh I'll show you guys the J card first and then we can uh, take a look on the back. But yeah, as you can see at the bottom, just you know, Ghost in the Shell, age rating, black there. And then on the back, you got all your details. I've creased it a bit there, so maybe I'll leave this off, but... Uh, to go over some special features that we've got, we have an audio commentary, uh, accessing section 9, 25 years in the future, landscape and dreamscapes, the art and architecture of Ghost in the Shell, production report, trailers and digital work, so a bunch of special features. If you guys are into that, then you know th there's all this stuff here that you can take a look at. But yeah, we'll go on to the, uh, the rest of the edition now. So here we have the back, as you can see. Uh, is that the major? No, that's the other person, I forget what the name is, but the, the other body, the Puppet Master uses. Um, so that's that's really cool there, and I like this. It's got like a bit of a metallic shine on it as well. And it is a matte, um, you know, like case thing, but it does have that nice metallic sheen to it as well, which uh, I, I really like. Uh, but we'll actually go into the inside now. We can take a look at the, the steelbook itself. So first up, we have, wow, this is a pretty nice steelbook. Uh, nicer than I was expecting it to be. So we'll go over that first. As you can see... So really nice embossing, you kind of got this whole section is debossed, so you kind of got like um, a rim around it in a way, really nice, and you know, you got the Major's body there. Uh, this is all embossed at the bottom here, really, really nice steelbook, really detailed and stuff. And then on the back, there you have, you know, an iconic shot of um, her waking up, and you know, the, you see out the window. Now this whole thing here is kind of debossed, so like the, this whole section with her, um yeah you can kind of see if i can if i can get the light right you can see that this dips down slightly compared to the rest of the back of the steel but, but yeah really nice and then obviously the spine just says ghost in the shell uh, as you would expect now go on to the inside um that is of her dad so the first image there we've got a dive in uh you know pretty iconic scene within the film uh and for some reason this this wobbles a little bit i'm worried about it i think it should be all right uh, we'll go on to the discs now. So this is the standard 4K disc. There you go. Just, you know, kind of ghost in the, very Ghost in the Shell type look, which is kind of the same as what the Matrix is as well. You know, that green um, like database look to it. And if we can get this out, this is just the standard Blu-ray, which will also have special features on it. If I can get it out. This is a pain. Here we go, I've got it. Okay, there you go. So that is your standard Blu-ray disc, as you can see. Kind of similar, but this actually has, you know, like a binary code or whatever it is. So that is the entire inside, as you can see. It is, you know, it just kind of goes across. Same image across both of them. Really cool. Really dig this deal, but we actually have a few other things to show off that you get in this. You actually get, I think it's some art cards and also a poster. First off, I'll show you guys. There you go. Nice little set here. Um... Now we'll open it up and uh, we'll just check what's inside. First up, got that really nice uh, piece of artwork. Obviously, you know, very iconic poster from Ghost in the Shell. Um, and then what have we got here? So again, nice image of Ghost in the Shell again. Uh, pretty iconic image there of I think is this when she gets headshot? No, that, so this is when she's um, trying to open the robot thing and she ends up ripping her arm off. So once again, all these are very iconic shots from the film. Of course, you know, sat in the window right there. Another iconic shot, and then 
one of the most iconic shots, I think. Um, well, right before probably the most iconic shot of the film, yeah, when she's looking out, down, and then yeah, she jumps off. And then the last one, um, this is a like a poster art as well. Really like that one. All these are just nice to have, you know. I don't know whether I will do much with them. I don't tend to, like, stick these things on my wall. But for those that do, this is a very nice addition. And these are, you know, all either nice artwork or just, you know, an iconic shot from the film. Well, now we move on to the last thing, which uh, we've got a poster. Now, I think this is, I think it's just an A4 one. Um, or it might be, a, it's A3, actually. A3 poster, I think. So if I can try not to rip it. There we go. Oh, it's not even like an A3, it's kind of like almost square, but not quite, so if I bring it back, you guys might be able to see it better. There you go. Nice, good look at it there. Really nice poster. Don't know whether I'll put it up anywhere. When it comes to these sets, the problem is if I ever wanted to sell it, you can't really be placing posters and stuff up in the wall, and I always want to just keep it as like a complete set, so a lot of the time I don't do anything with these things, but for those that do... Yeah, it's very nice to have all this uh, this kind of stuff. But yeah, make sure to head on down to the comment section below. Let me know whether you have picked this up, whether you planned on picking this up, and what your thoughts on the original 1995 Ghost in the Shell film. Also, leave a like on the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it and want to see plenty more unboxing anime content from me. Late this week, I will have my review finally up for The Seven Deadly Sins of Dragon's Judgment, also known as Season 5, and that is Part 2, so it's kind of the, the final stretch of the season. Then we've also got Cursed by Light, almost epilogue film to the series. And we've got season four of Baki, which is titled Baki Hanma. We've also got season seven, season three. So a bunch of Netflix anime content coming up this week. So make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you know exactly when all this stuff is going up. But as always, guys, thank you for tuning into Chat today. And remember, even in the worst of times, there's always entertainment. See you guys next time.